Disclaimer. Gaming 24-7 is not responsible for your game files. We highly suggest you back up your game files before following any tutorials. Thanks, and enjoy the show. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. Go ahead and smash that sub button. Really glad to have you. And today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Federal Signal Smart Sirens uh, that the LAPD and the New York police uh, use in their vehicles. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into it. The first thing you're going to need is OpenIV. All right. If you have not installed OpenIV, there should be a card popping up right about now. Go check that video out then come back and then we can continue. Okay, guys. All right, guys. And the next thing you're going to need is something to extract the files. I use WinRAR. It's free. Um, you can come up here and click your version. I clicked the one right here, 64-bit. All right, it's free to use. Um, it does say trial. But you don't. You never have to pay for it, okay? Um, you just click your version and then install it, and you should be good to go, okay, guys? And the next link we're going to go ahead and click is going to be this LAPD, NYPD, Federal Signal Smart Siren. It is 5M ready, and this is by Baker X Goody. This guy has amazing stuff. Um, we're going to go ahead, and we're going to get into it, guys. We're going to go ahead and download this file right here. All right, guys, once we have that downloaded to our desktop here, we're going to go ahead and open it up. All right, we're going to double click, double click this folder right here. We're going to double click this again. All right. And what you want to do is you want to click, here's the vehicles and here's the vehicles OAC. These are the two things we're going to need right here. So what you want to do is come up here to your desktop, right click. And you want to create a new folder. Okay, guys, we're going to name it Federal. Okay, just like so. We're going to open that up. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to take this vehicle's OAC and we're going to hold down our control key and take this vehicle's file right here. And we're simply going to drag and drop it into that. Okay, guys, so you should have it right here. And this is going to be your siren. All right, we're going to exit out of that WinRAR, and we're going to exit out of that, okay? And once we have this folder right here, guys, that we just created, what you want to do next is open up OpenIV. And we're going to click Windows right here. All right, guys, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure you are in edit mode right here, guys. We're going to go ahead and click that. And if you want it to always start in edit mode, what you need to do is go ahead and click tools, options, and it's going to bring up this menu right here. All you need to do is select edit. Okay, default work mode should be edit, and you're going to hit close. So every time you open this up, it's going to start in edit mode. You won't have to push this button up here, okay? All right, that's very important. You need to be in edit mode. So we're gonna go ahead, and the next thing you're gonna need to do is we're gonna go to the pathway, guys, that you're gonna need to install your siren. All right, we're gonna go to X64. We're gonna go to audio, SFX, and you wanna scroll down here, click on the resident.rpf, okay? If it is not in your mods folder, it should say show in mods folder or copy to mods folder. Go ahead and click show in mods folder. Okay, guys, it needs to be in your mods folder for it to take effect into effect into your game. Okay, so that's very important. All right, guys, so make sure you're in this pathway right here. You should be now in GTA 5, mods, time 64, audio, SFX, and resident.rpf. All right. So we're going to stay right here in this pathway, guys. Go ahead, click on Favorites, and add it to your Favorites. And you can call this Sirens, okay, or just leave it at resident.rpf, and click Add. All right. Let's go ahead and bring up that federal folder that we made. All right, guys. 
what you can do go ahead and click new right here all right new import open formats okay and it's going to automatically probably take you to this folder since we already had it opened but if it did not you want to go to your desktop is where we left it you want to find that federal folder and you want to click vehicles.oac and just click open all right this window is going to pop up right here go ahead and click ok And just like that, guys, you got it inside of your game. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and take you into Grand Theft Auto V and show you the new sounds and the new sirens. See you guys inside of LSPD4. All right, guys, we are spawned up in the game inside of LSPD4, and let me show you your new sirens here. We're gonna go ahead and we are going to click our lights. All right, and what you want to do is click, you can click one on your keyboard. I'll give you that one right there. If you're gonna click two. You can click three. You can click four. All right, and five and six are going to be the dual sirens. Okay, what you would do is click six to take it off the of dual sirens. And there you have it, guys. And this is your air horn. That would be E on the keyboard. We're using keyboard. Check, yeah, guys. And on the controller, it is uh, down the D pad, down the D pad, and then it's going to be B to cycle through your sirens. Yeah, guys, there you go. New federal signal siren in your game. Don't forget to smash that like button. Consider subscribing if you are new. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys. Much love. Love you all.